Hi guys, here's a video with, uh, showing you how I assemble the IKEA Ivar cabinet. It's really popular right now all over Instagram and Pinterest. So I thought I would film the assembly and I also got some legs for it at Lowe's. So I will show you the legs and I'll leave a link for those. And I'm going to be putting this cabinet in my entryway so I'll show you how it looks when it's all said and done. absolutely nothing about putting together IKEA furniture that I find fun in any sort of way. I'm like five minutes in and I'm already annoyed and I want to stop. And it's like, I wish they could put words with their direction. But okay, I'm going to try to get this finished. It's really hot. directions like so I got these legs from Lowe's and I got four of them and then I got this hardware also from Lowe's it just says straight top plate on it so there's four of them in here and I'm going to screw these into the bottom of the cabinet As frustrating as that was, and I even tried to use the drill, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but apparently I don't know how to use a drill. Um, it turned out really cute. This is how it's looking so far, and I just want to put some really cute pulls on it, like drawer pulls. So it's the next day now. I just got home from the gym, and I've got a couple of hours to kill before I need to take my car in for an oil change. So I figured I would do some organization on this new IKEA cabinet I have in my entryway. My main goal is to declutter the kitchen. That's like my goal for the week because I just don't have room for like to-go containers or like this construction going on downstairs if you hear that. Um, I just don't have room for really anything. So I want to take this cabinet and use it for like backup dishes, um, like to-go, like what are they called? Like containers? Um, and then I don't know what else we'll see. So I'm organizing that right now. So I just got the shelves installed and I have all of my containers here that I want to organize and try to use the top two shelves for kitchen stuff. And I might use the bottom two, the bottom shelf for clothes, which is kind of weird to have a mixture of kitchen stuff and clothes, but we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to keep it all kitchen related and put like dried goods like pastas, flowers, stuff like that in the bottom shelf. Just to give you an idea of what my pantry area looks like. It's a little embarrassing but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay so I used this one cabinet. Wow even my floor is dirty. I can't believe I'm going to put this on YouTube. <laughs> so this is what we're working with. Um, I don't really know how I ever find anything. But yeah, this is it. So I'm gonna try to choose a category. Maybe I'll choose like the, the stuff in these little jars, um, like my protein powders, or maybe I'll do like dried goods, or maybe I'll do canned goods. And just try to take one category out of this cabinet so I can make it a little bit more efficient. I just realized all the white stuff on the floor is because I changed out the light fixture in my kitchen yet again for the third time. <laughs> If you saw my kitchen video um, a couple videos ago, you will have seen that I ordered two separate light fixtures from Amazon and installed both of them, or well, my boyfriend did, 
and the second one I thought I really liked, but turns out it was just too busy with the open shelving in the kitchen. So let me show you the newest one and the final one. I'm not changing this out again. I love it so much. This is like the perfect one. Here, I'll come around here so you can see it. But it's just simple and sleek and it doesn't really take away from the kitchen shelves. Just plain white. I'm obsessed. Okay, so now I'm going to take everything out of my kitchen pantry. I wasn't even planning on doing this today. Let's see. Do I even have time for this? Um, I'm going to take everything out of my kitchen pantry and try to figure out a way to organize it and see what I want to put in this new wooden cabinet and then go from there. to brag but this little cabinet is becoming complete Pinterest goals let me show you the update so I have the bowls and lids up top and then all of my little leftover I don't know why I can't think of what these containers are called but whatever to go container thingies and then look at all this it looks so good okay just wanted to show you guys where I'm at so far so already looking a ton better um, I have my canned goods in the very back just because I don't reach for them that often. And then I put all my oils in this little container, like all my cooking oils and coconut aminos. And I have all my pasta back here in this like box, my pasta noodles. It's kind of inconvenient back there, but I don't make pasta very often. I had this little organizer in my bathroom, but I just cleared it all out and put my seasonings in there and it turns, so that's really convenient. This is kind of like a hodgepodge. I have like sauces, peanut butter, dried fruit, and my pancake mix in there. This is just a big base that I had, and I put my turkey chomps, and then obviously my obsession with Trader Joe's taco seasoning is real, so that takes up the back half, and I'll just leave it pulled out a little bit so I can grab for it. So now I really only have dry goods like chips and crackers and I'm going to put those right here. Okay, here's the final organization of the cabinet. I put all my baking goods on the bottom, containers in the middle, bowls, extra dishes, and lids on top. So here is the final look for the cabinet. I put some plants up and styled it a little for the sake of the video. I think I'm going to totally restyle it soon and I'll update you guys on that. Um, I also want to DIY it a little bit more. I was planning on putting molding on the front of it. I found this really cool DIY on Instagram, but it was going to be time consuming and expensive. So I decided to just hold off for now. So I'll keep you updated on that. Also, I'm definitely going to be incorporating some of these pictures. My little brother drew these for me. He's so talented and he just opened his first Etsy shop actually. I'm his biggest fan. I'm going to leave a link below for his Etsy shop. Just to prove to you guys that I actually do clean my kitchen. I just did a deep clean and clean the stove and the counters and the shelves and dusted. There's my amazing light once again that I'm obsessed with. Don't you guys think it looks so much better than the last one? I'm just sitting here makeup -less, dirty hair, eating carrots. And I'm about to start editing this video, but I just wanted to quickly say 
I feel I have felt really weird the last week or two and I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone in this but I just still feel really weird about the world and really heavy and I feel like the stuff in my videos is so trivial compared to the bigger issues in the world and I feel like maybe I'm wasting my time here I don't know but I just wanted to kind of throw that out there not even for any sort of reason or any sort of feedback I just wanted to say like I know there's more important things going on than how cluttered my pantry is, but I don't know. I also feel really good about putting out content and I, I have fun with it. So if this video is annoying to you or if you can tell that like maybe my mood isn't as elevated as normal, it's just because I feel weird. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good weekend.